welcome back to another episode, MGW. We've got some kangaroo tails that we're going to chuck on the coals. So we've got a big fire going here. What's going to happen, we're going to let this burn down, chuck some rocks in there, heat the rocks up, uh, spread the coals out a bit so make better coals. And um, before we do anything, we've got to unwrap these and singe the hair off them. And then we're going to lay them down on, on the coals, get some banana leaves and um, lay them on top of the tail and then cover that with a bit of dirt and we'll leave it for about 45 and what what that's going to do is steam up inside underneath the ground kind of like a underground oven um, and we'll cook that yeah for about 30 to 45 minutes and um, yeah then we feast so we've got a couple of lads here uh, from all over the place probably eight or nine of us so got 15 tails to feed us all so should be a good good feed and um, yeah so put the rocks in now singe this hair and um, we'll see you when we're putting the, the kangaroo tail on the ground Yes. Yeah, right. So, fire's burnt down pretty good now. We've got a lot of good coals, the rocks are really hot. So just down here is the kangaroo tail. So, nice big tails. We've got about nine of them. Um, we're feeding a fair bit of people tonight. Um, so yeah, come over here, have a look at the fire. A lot of good coals, so just moving the rocks to one spot, gonna lay the coals out, make a bit of a bed, lay the tail straight down, cover it back up and put the rocks around it for extra heat. Um, oh, sorry, banana leaves first, and then the rocks around that. And then, um, yeah, should be about half an hour, and um, we'll have a feed. Better not be running. Right. So that's what we're after. See, that's a beautiful banana leaf. I know you're coming, bro. Put the banana, um, kangaroo tail, kangaroo tail on the coals, and then bang, we just put the banana leaf over like that, and then put the bottom on and it, it'll and steam up. Boom. All right, got a banana leaf. Let's go. Nice work. Spread it up. This will also protect a lot of the meat from the sand. From the dirt. Yeah, they get pretty dirty. Oosh. It's worth it though, there's gold underneath. So have a look down here, this is all the sand we got from the creek. And now we just cover it. Look over here. Changing it up a little Good indicator eh? when this when the inside of this pit you can't keep your hands that hot yeah. you know it's good good heat in there eh? that whole cooking dough yeah place. just yeah just I don't know they're so good they just trap the heat mm. um so we just pulled oh come here I'll clean that lens real quick alright yeah 
Yep, that's what we're doing. We pulled uh, one of the tails out. They've been in for 45 minutes. Um, and it seems to be cooked all the way through through the, the thicker side of it. So I'm just going to uncover the sand and the banana leaf real quick. Uh, pull the rest of it out. It's getting late. Um, everybody sort of wants to go to bed, but we're starving. So yeah, we'll get into this. Get a close up of this. Can I put them rest oh, yeah, in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, nice. I've never done this before. I've had kangaroo, but I've never had kangaroo tail, I've always wanted to try it. I think the way that you put it together tonight intuitively you just knew exactly what it needed to do. Well I just figured that, you know when you look at the old people and how they did things, they didn't have all the resources we have today, they exactly. didn't have, you know, shovels for that matter. So it was simple, dig a hole, put your bed of coals, put the tails on, yep. cover it. Yep. Put the rocks in there, if you've got banana leaves, chuck it in. But it's just basic, I mean, they, the masters at survival and you just do what you can to make a feed, I guess. So I was just, this is how, you know, we cook all our um, meat underground. Because meat cooks a lot, takes a lot longer to cook than veggies and fish. Right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so, let's just get a close up here. There for me, Liam. So what the fur, why we keep that on, or the hair. See how it's protecting it? So it looks dirty as. You think I wouldn't eat that shit. Then you pull this back. Put your knife in here. Ooh. Cut that. That knife is It is. Look at the juices, look at it sizzling. Oh wow, I can hear that still. So now, <laughs> come have a close up of that Liam. Look at that. Nicely cooked. So you just slice that. It smells like a bit like beef, eh? That's a bit of fat too. Yeah. It's good for you. I have to let that juice try it's not fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Come in again. Try and get out. Cut the way from this. Smells good. There we go. It smells like lamb, eh? That's us little beef. You want to taste it now? It smells like lamb, bro. Okay. So that's a bit of the kangaroo there. Mm. <laughs> it does, eh? Tastes like lamb? It, ta it does taste like lamb. It's got that. Mm. It's got the same texture. But that's different in itself. I mean, I've never tried kangaroo and I've never tried it like this. And this is what it's all about. Keeping culture alive, you know. Trying new things and just living the way them old people lived. This is how they did it, you know. All right, so we'll um, we'll get the rest of these and um, get it ready for the rest of these guys. Get them all out of here and um, have something to eat. But enjoy. 
All right, let's do it. Woo. Yeah, that one's good. Big game. Yeah. See what Chav says first. Oh my God, let's try that. You just want it to cool down so you just get right into it. I don't know how good that lighting is, but yeah, it tastes like lamb, bro. Give it a go, just a little bit light. What's that like? Oh, that's good. Tastes like lamb shank. Oh, it does a little bit like that, eh? A little bit. I really like the all the um, the texture, the fats, like that mm -hmm. line there. That's delicious. That yeah, that's solid. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think it's fat. Eating it? Oh, get that side out of my This side here? Yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. oh. Shine light. Nigga, yeah. give me that. Man. For real? Shine light. For real, bro. Shine light. Flavor. Oh, shit. Go on, Mr. Oliver. Buddy. 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 What's it taste like? It tastes good, bro. It tastes like cake? Buddy. Man. It tastes like good Yo. cakes. You gonna get granddad's on over there? Yeah, yeah. But, um, oh, God. Oh, man. It's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Tastes like a. Good one. Damn keys running in the cup. But it tastes alright. Nigga, how do I open this towel up? It tastes bro? good? Just rip the, rip the skin off with your teeth and spit it out. Okay. Are you eating like the skin? Oh, wow. Ooh, Aaron Lee munching out. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? Hey, buddy, ready? Right I'll peel it back. Out of, out of 10. Out of 10? Yeah. Six and a half. Six and a half. <laughs> Six and a half. Pretty good. Seven. Might need a bit of um, salt. Hey, a bit of mint sauce. Nah, Gary. <laughs> sauce. What's the light here, bro? White lamb. I gotta see what I'm eating. <laughs> Oh, fight there. Oh, Jesse. Oh. What's this part here? That's just like fat and sinew. Yeah, it is. Not bad. That's salt. Oh, here, yeah, Dudley. Oh, thanks, man. So, yeah, it's a messy feed. Um, but, yeah, we cooked these up about 45 mm. minutes and. Um, Snap the tails now and they're just falling off the bone, it's unreal. So. Oh wow, it's a messy feed. Like, look at my hands, it's all on my beard, I can feel it. <laughs> but that's what it's all about. Now look at that kangaroo tail. Who would have thought there would be meat in the yeah, who would have thought? Look at that, just slap him. Oh, look at the meat. Look at that. Put that in the water. All right. All right. Probably wouldn't digest very well. That's it for another episode. MGW, Catch and Cook. Actually, that's just another episode. We didn't catch this at all. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We do we do all sorts of crazy stuff, uh, just like this. But yeah, thanks. <laughs> he loves it. He is so good. Salivating has been sitting there waiting for something. That's why you've been sitting there for a while.